Okay, let's now go to, um, in this directory, we had our results for the trade station data. So let's go to our predefined results that came with the product, which I have just updated for the runs we've made. So that's TS predict. In TS predict, we've got the ETF, which happens to be the SPY directory. That's the SPY 125 base. And we have the predict file I showed you and the raw predict file. And we have an attribute file, which is what's needed for a trade station. We also have the futures in which we have the 150 um, length window for the for the futures, and we have the attribute file which is created for TradeStation. Now, this is these are automatically created by TradeStation when you import the data, but I've actually put them in here just to make it easier. So, if you want to update your own stuff um, and you're updating using our file format. Um, you can use the attribute files. Um, let me actually load one and show you. Uh, okay, here we go. So the attribute files, you have all the, the times and dates all set. You've got the short name set. Um, and then you've got the file names. So you can create these when you import into, through the TradeStation third-party wizard. Um, I just kept these here because I created them when I originally added this data to TradeStation. Our next step is going to be to actually use this data in TradeStation in trading systems and show you how this Armagarch technology can help you build trading systems. Armagarch. Um, so now we have a chart here of 12 years of spy data. We're going to do insert symbol. Look up third party. We see we haven't added it yet, so we're going to add. We're going to browse. We're going to go to the Armagarch. We're going to go to the TS predict. We're going to go ETF directory, 125 base. We're going to put a prefix or a symbol to AR. Now let's make it AG. And we're going to add it. So we're going to take the predict file. So the raw predict. And we're going to plot it. So we see our predictions are mostly ones in this recent case. And there's times that we end up with a lot more negative ones. So let's now add the system. Insert strategy and we're going to pick Armagard simple one. Let's set the properties. We want to look at a one lot of spy. We're not going to take any slippage or commission because we just want to see what this thing does. Now we run it. Here's the signals. Let's look at the report. We can see that it makes 257 points. 190 on the long side, 66 on the short side. 70% accurate on the long side. 59% accurate on the short side. 29 cents on the short side. Not too bad. Drawdown's a little high. We'll look at the equity curve. Not really bad. And it's like, well, what are you doing with the predictions, Murray, to be able to do this? So let's go here, and we're going to edit the easy language. Okay, so let's look at how simple the model is that we've developed to trade our Armagarch signals. If the prediction is above zero and close is less than open, we buy. If the prediction is less than zero and close is greater than open, we sell. If the prediction is equal to zero, which meant the model did not converge, and the posi market position is long, we're going to exit our long trade, sell. If the prediction is zero and market position is negative one, which means we don't know if we should still be short, we're going to buy the cover. Now, in the case of the SPY, these two, these two rules don't really matter 
because the spy almost always converges. There's only a couple days where it did not. In the case of other markets, um, there's periods where it does not converge, and in which case we would want to have those rules. So you can see that just using these simple rules, we were able to create a model that can beat buy and hold. We made 257 points, and we can see that the SPY value ended at 244.65. The SPY value started with a first trade at 118. So roughly about 123, 124 points. So you can see that we basically outperformed buy and hold by a factor of two using a simple Armagarch hybrid model.